Um, Rabbi Kohen Netanya Halevi, the Executive Director of Panafest Foundation. I've just gone through the exhibit that Mr. Thomas Fenn has put together, one of the most excellent displays of culture here in Ghana. And this man has truly been one of our photojournalists that has captured the spirit and the heart and the images of Ghana over the last 30 years. So a lot of reminiscing that I've seen here, a lot of present, present memories that I've seen here. And I encourage anybody who has not seen this exhibit to get to the Cape Coast Castle, see this exhibit. You'll be enriched by the experience. Thank you very much. Good. Thank you. When they were coming off the boats, this is the Jamaica coffee. This is the same picture like we said before. Yeah, that's because he won't speak. That means that Pepper, I mean, can't, he won't greet nobody yeah. wow. along the way. Yeah. It's a symbol, yeah. yeah. And this is coming through the door of return again. Another angle from the other picture you saw, like I said, this is the Ruba Ben Wahad, oh. you know, part of the Panther. The the yeah, the Ruba, this brother, the Ruba, right here. That's myself again. And, you know, everybody rushing to that was a real famous time. This is when we're down in the shrine in the male dungeon. Again, Jeffries, Mahamathas, chief of uh, Cape Coast. Then we put them on canoes and then brought them on the canoes on the ocean to bring them to this place to the door of return. That's when we first renamed the door, the door of return. This is when we had Panifest 201. We had chiefs from South Africa who came here and, you know, greeted them and they were so happy because a lot of their chieftaincy has been destroyed yes. with the white occupation. Yes. So they admired how Ghana kept their whole traditional system alive yes. and that it was a part of the governing system. Yes. So they came here to learn from the part of the Ghana's royalty mm -hmm. how to bring their chieftaincy mm -hmm. back into existence yes. in the governing of South Africa. Mm -hmm. So they have the house of traditional leaders. Mm -hmm. Here we have the house of chiefs. Mm -hmm. So we were trying to bring them together. They went and met with the Asante Henny King of the Asante came down here and met to have collaboration and all of that around um, how to integrate traditional rulership into contemporary rulership and governance. That's his remains being brought through the door of return, being laid in the state. This is the brother Kamati Denizulu, um, Professor Smalls, all of that. So it's that whole grand occasion. This is when we're bringing it through the door of return. It goes myself again, the red turban, Ooh. and uh, we're bringing it through the door of return then. The men, young men, they go out and they have to capture a live deer without using no weapon, no nothing. It's your own ingenuity, your agility, your strength, your speed, you have to capture a live deer. And then the company that gets the deer and brings it into the stadium first is the ones who um, have won the competition that year. But it used to be a lion. A lion? They lost a lot of lives, of course. They, they did some compromising with the gods and turned it over to a live antelope. <laughs> yes. You see them still here. They can be found in Ghana. Then you have the pride of Ghana, the Black Stars and the football team. You know, some of the players being displayed here. And the kind of pride that Ghana has. And you see different areas of the country, little things like this. You know, the rock formation by natural, by nature. Not by mandate. A lot of phenomenal things that you know we have here in Ghana. Seen the foreign leaders who come here, with the exception of Pokiana, who's his homeborn son, son of the soil. What do you mean by exception on that? Because I said foreign leaders, oh, with right. the exception of Pokiana, who's the son of the soil. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and these are all the personal photographs of our brother here. Oh, okay. It's all his personal. All of these. Are his personal photographs. Wow. I, I, I introduced him to That is our tradition. Yes, yes, this brother, this part of his contest coming, he was a student in the U.S. in his young days, university student. He yeah. yes. made that film on the African pop. Right. Yeah. Absolutely, yes. History. It's, it's, it's Dr. Brenda McGatney from Detroit, Michigan. I've been coming to Ghana since 1999, and I'm your photos are vivid, um, exciting, and colorful, and they speak to the culture of Ghana. Thank you. Madassi Blackwood. Oh, wow. I'm here at the Palava Hall, and I'm enjoying the works of Mr. Thomas Fenn. I mean, I think he's probably one of the important figures who brought about the modern photography to Ghana. Looking at his pictures and the stuffs, I mean, it tells a story. And I think if you visit this place, you should be happy. 
Nibos. My name is uh, Asma, John Kovna Asma. I work for the University of Ghana School of Science from 1978 to uh, 2011. Um, before then, I was at film industry, which is now TV3. Then um, I have known Faye for a very long time. He's my colleague, and we've been working together. Most of the time, we meet at functions and uh, we take uh, photographs and we do things in common. And uh, for some time, I've not been hearing from him. You know, I heard you know, there's an exhibition going on here to the study lab. And I've just come to uh, look at it and it is marvelous. But it, it has uh, reminded me of the old and you know, it's good that everybody can here to you know, take a look at this picture. It will tell you, you know, what was and what we have missed. You know, because so many things are going on right now which does not depict the actual uh, the photographic scene that we had in the, in the past. And it is good that we have such people as Finn who has kept these records. And uh, you know, we, we should all learn from hey guys. This is Pierre Yuan, and actually it's my first time uh, being here visiting uh, Ghana. And because uh, I travel a lot uh, in Western uh, Africa region, so this is my first time in Ghana. They have visited the uh, Thomas Fink's ex exhibition. In as, a, as as you can see, and he has been involved in photography since long time, and he has as a Ghanaian, he has witnessed uh, witnessed a lot of historical uh, moment about Ghana so uh, I'm really ap appreciated about what he has done for his country and and also for, for us as a tourist via his views and photos that we can uh, understand well about the history about the culture about uh, of Ghana and I, I, f uh, I feel really amazing here I mean as far as the culture and history is concerned, Ghana is really abundant on that and uh, I really recommend everybody, I mean, especially for my Changi fellows to visit here in Ghana and it's peaceful, wonderful, uh, it's a place that we should visit. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thank旅游以及探路吧，然后加拿大的它的风景、它的历史文化确实和其他的西非国家不一样，所以我觉得呃大家有机会可以多来看看啊，这个真的很难得，因为在西非其实它的旅游的硬件和软件设施是不太健全的，
will tell you exactly how Africa is, exactly how our forefathers were being treated by the white, exactly how we suffered to gain our independence, what we are now and what we will become tomorrow. It all started from here and, and this man Thomas Finn has done a great way for us. I invite you to come and have a wonderful view of the artworks that we do. Thank you. So, my name is Confidence Royal, and today I'm right here at the Cape Coast Castle and I stumbled upon this great photography work put together by Thomas Finn single-handedly. I can't imagine this is so good, it's so amazing. One person bringing out all these things, printing them, telling you about Ghana culture, pictures about everything you need to know. I I think everybody has to be here, everybody has to support him because he did it single-handedly from his own pocket, his own resources. And then I, I think he needs so much support from NGOs, the government and everybody out there who will voluntarily help to support all this because he's bringing our culture out there for everybody who comes here to talk, to see how much Ghana has and then to also um, tell you a history that you may not know through his photography. So I'll urge the government, I'll urge the uh, NGOs out there who would take advantage of this and then we do it. So I am so glad I stumbled upon this today and I hope you all out there are helping. Wow. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Do you anything say anything? The two are very sad and emotional. We are not here to judge anybody. You may condemn the events, but judge not. We are not the best people to judge. Again, remember, every country has history, good or bad. It is part of the history. Ours is to build up on the positives, for their heads for better development. The rest, they need to go. And I understand. Currently, we are at the Palabra Hall with amazing exhibition here by Mr. Thomas Finn, one of the renowned photographers this country has ever produced. International and locally, you can see some of the pictures here, attest to that fact. So if you see the here, it's cheap. Okay. Hold on. This is where the buying and selling of the enslaved Africans officially taking place. Once they arrived from present day Tamale, Yendi, Sisala, Salada, the biggest and largest slave market at the time. Even Burkina Faso, as soon as you have your last shower, you wouldn't shower again until you arrive here where they examine your strength, your teeth, your body before they will buy you or return to you. So it wasn't every single being brought here as slaves that have a purchase. Only the strongest of the strongest. Because they knew the tax ahead of them was not going to be easier. So we demanded strongest people at a time. So we call it Palava Hall. Palava means trouble, noise, confusion, misunderstanding, just like the marketplace. So much noise over there at the end of the day. The buyer will get something there, the seller will also get something home. Also, a famous treaty popularly known as the Bond of 1844 was signed here to protect lives and properties of good business. That invariably ushered us into 100 years of colonial rule by the English. That they corrupted it, that wasn't, but they corrupted that protection from the coastal belt Chain house from the Portuguese, Swedish, Danes, Dutch, Great Britain. Fine. Remember that Akka became the capital of Gold Coast Ghana today. It used to be Cape Coast, the seat of government, right in this castle. Therefore, such as Makati, from Andayero, the Lakin Wara, all served in this castle until 1870. So, because of politics, <laughs> Hi, my name is Josephine Koma, I'm proudly Ghanaian 
and um, even though I've seen this castle a couple of times, coming back again this time with my children is a part of me that I've always yearned to do, to let them understand where we came from, how far we've come as a nation, and hopefully let them know that they have roots that we should be proud of. And whether the history here had a very dark side to it, it also has the positives. And I'm hoping that the tour here will bring out the positive sides of it and engender in them that spirit of patriotism for our country. I'd like to thank the Cape Coast Castle and its management as well for maintaining this historical monument for generations to come to understand where we have come and how, where we have come from and how far we have to. The photo exhibition is so informative. It tells you history from the ancient times to the modern times. And it is one way that we can begin to make um, history an interesting side for our children to understand and appreciate and become patriotic in everything that they do. So I'll encourage that beyond what we have seen, the children are taking through some form of understanding photography itself so that we can birth that kind of talent in young ones who would use this as career, who would use this to project Ghanaian culture and hopefully use this to transform our nation. Okay. Uh, yeah, my name is uh, George Kwefubafu and I'm Ghanaian and uh, I really like the pictures because by looking at the traditional clothes, traditional wear, the food and everything, it's really look uh, fantastic. Look at the craft and uh, look at all the beautiful people around the pictures. The cameraman did so well to uh, have those pictures in places and uh, it's really something that is need needed to be recommended. And uh, I'm hoping that this cameraman, I believe, uh, they should keep him to do the nice work and a great job because uh, this is only here in the Cape Coast and I believe they can uh, take him somewhere to extend all this photography work so that he's very good at it and uh, I believe everybody who is here has, uh, I think uh, they have enjoyed it so much, especially me. I really like, you know, I'm just all the way out through all these pictures. Yeah. And I hope he will still continue on doing his great job because uh, it's a nice picture and uh, I need, I think he needs to be recommended. He needs to be recommended and uh, I'm wishing all the best for him. And uh, I, I, I'm short of words, but yeah, I'm short of words and this, I don't know what to say. Thank you. And, uh, I'm really appreciate. Time for your good work. Thank you very much. <laughs> my my name, name is Eric Pechard Wilhelm Lutrot. My family comes from here. They are called the Danish family of Anna. Anna Ebushia. Wow. All right, from Tantri. All right. We just brought a, uh, our son here to just see from the United States, you know, to just see how his ancestors were, were treated. They took us into slavery very badly. We knew our people fought back. So now we're here, and uh, I'm very impressed, very, very impressed. You know, I, I don't know, I'm so, I, I, look at, I feel very proud to be an African. I feel proud to be a Ghanaian. And I'm um, here, I'm seeing the reproduction again of all that's happening again. I love it. You people have tried. Thank you, Thank you very much. much. Thank you. Thank you. My name, I am Donna Ford, and I'm from Barbados. I'm from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Barbados. Ooh. Barbados will be opening an embassy in Ghana, and this will be an obligatory stop. Yeah. Thomas, thanks for such a wonderful exhibition and for an exposure to the Ghanaian culture. This is my very first visit to Ghana and to West Africa. I'm from Barbados, and not having been the opportunity to visit a lot of Ghana, I've only been to Accra, and now here to the castle. Um, it is a privilege and even very emotional for me to see not only the exhibition but the castle. Because I had never imagined, even though we read about it in history books, and I had the privilege and the unfortunate privilege of studying African history at school, but you have to see it to appreciate the journey and to understand where we come from and what we lost in the passage. And that's why it's so important and significant to have this year of no return so that people like me from the African diaspora can come and know our roots 
and come and understand what we have lost and what we have the opportunity to reclaim. So I thank you very, very, very much. Very much. I, I sincerely thank you. Thank you very much. Hello, my name is Sister Equia Aqua, coming from New York. By way of Georgia, Savannah in particular, I'm a mathematics teacher in New York. I've been to Ghana since 1980, off and on. I was in the Peace Corps in Togo, so most of Africa, West Africa I've gone to. And I've traveled with African Genesis three times to Egypt, better known as Kemet. Um, I'm just <coughs> overwhelmed. Um, I visited the Elmina Castle and Cape Castle, as well as Shama, uh, several years ago. And now I want to return. I've been back to Ghana many times, but this is my first time coming back to the castle. And I see so many changes. I've met Mr. Finn. His work is extraordinary. I mean, just excellent. Let's keep on doing what you're doing, brother. More people should come. More of our people should come. This is a year of return. It should be every day should be a year and a day of return. Every African in the diaspora, regardless of what language they're speaking, regardless of the names that they were given, they should have the opportunity to come back to Africa at least one time. Any of the countries, but my preference is Ghana. But they should come, have their name, you know, know about their people, yeah, know about all the cultures, I mean, learn the languages, come back by land, come back home, okay? Come back home. I have a plot that I've had for about, maybe about 10 years, and I've been lazy and haven't been doing anything about it, but this is the time and this is the time to invest in Africa. We are investing in everything else and with every other people, you know, and not getting any kind of return. We need to be back home, we'll be accepted, but we don't have to be discriminated against and running away from the police and running away from this person and that person. We need to come back so we can come back home and contribute to the society. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here. Keep on doing the good work, Mr. Finn. God bless you. Thank you very much.